Marbella is a city and municipality in southern Spain, belonging to the province of Malaga in the autonomous community of Andalusia. It is part of the Costa del Sol and is the headquarters of the Association of Municipalities of the region. It is also the head of the judicial district that bears its name. Marbella is situated on the Mediterranean Sea, between Malaga and the Gibraltar Strait, in the foothills of the Sierra Blanca. The municipality covers an area of 117 square kilometers crossed by highways on the coast, which are its main entrances. In 2012 the population of the city was 140,473 inhabitants making it the second most populous municipality in the province of Malaga and the eighth in Andalusia. It is one of the most important tourist cities of the Costa del Sol and throughout most of the year is an international tourist attraction, due mainly to its climate and tourist infrastructure. The city also has a significant archaeological heritage, several museums and performance spaces and a cultural calendar with events ranging from reggae concerts to opera performances. Geography The Marbella municipality occupies a strip of land that extends along 44 kilometers of coastline of the Pennybetico region, sheltered by the slopes of the coastal mountain range, which includes the Bermeja, Palmitera, Arroyo, White and Alpajata sub-ranges. Due to the proximity of the mountains to the coast, the city has a large gap between its north and south sides, thus providing views of the sea and mountain vistas from almost every part of the city. The coastline is heavily urbanized, most of the land not built up with golf courses has been developed with small residential areas. Map of Marbella Marbella is bordered on the north by the municipalities of Istan and Ojeacuten, on the northwest by Ben Ahavish, on the west by Estepona and on the northeast by Mijis. The Mediterranean Sea lies to the south. Topography There are five geomorphological units. The Sierra Blanca, the Sierra Blanca Piedmont, the lower hill country, the plains and the coastal dunes. The Sierra Blanca is most centrally located in the province, looming over the old village. This mountain range has three peaks. La Conca, located further west at 1,215 meters above sea level, one across, located eastward at 1,178 meters above sea level, and the highest. Mount Lasterna, located between the two at 1,270 meters. Marbella's topography is characterized by extensive coastal plains formed from eroded mountains. After the plain lies an area of higher elevations of between 100 and 400 meters, occupied by low hills, behind which rise the foothills and steeper slopes of the mountains. The coast is generally low and sandy beaches that are more extensive further east, between the fishing port and the Cabapino. Despite the intense urbanization of the coast, it still retains a natural area of dunes at the eastern end of town, the Artola Dunes. Hydrography The entire region lies within the Andalusian Mediterranean basin. The rivers are short and have very steep banks, so that flash floods are common. These include the Wadalmana, the Guadiza, the Verde and the Rio Real, which provide most of the water supply. The irregularity of rainfall has resulted in intermittent rivers that often run dry in summer. Most of the many streams that cross the city have been bridged. The La Concepcion Reservoir supplies the population with drinking water. Apart from this there are other reservoirs like El Viejo and El Nuevo that irrigated the old agricultural colony of El Angel, and Las Medranas and Lano de la Leche that watered the plantations of the colony of San Pedro de Alcantara. Climate Marbella is protected on its northern side by the coastal mountains of the Cordillera Pennybetica and so enjoys a microclimate with an average annual temperature of 18 degrees Celsius. The highest peaks of the mountains are occasionally covered with snow, which usually melts in a day or two. Average rainfall is 628 L per square meter, while hours of sunshine average 2,900 annually. 
flora and fauna because most of the mountain areas around Marbella cannot be managed by the city council and they are under the management of the central government. Remnants of the land in its natural state are still preserved in the mountains, where there are chestnut and cherry trees, reforested firs, Aleppo, Monterey and maritime pines, pinions, and ferns. The fauna is represented by golden eagles, Bonelli's eagles, short-toed eagles, hawks, falcons, vultures, genets or muskcats, badgers, wild goats, dare, martins, foxes and rabbits. The coast has the natural monument site of the Dunas de Artola, one of the few protected natural beaches of the Costa del Sol, which contains maram grass, sea holly, sea daffodils and shrubs such as large fruited juniper. The highlight of the marine ecosystem of the sea around Marbella is Posidon Oceanica, a plant endemic to the Mediterranean, found in the Cabapino area. Demographics According to the census of the INVA 2011, Marbella had a population of 135,124 inhabitants, which ranked it as the second most populous city in the province of Malaga and eighth in Andalusia after surpassing Cadiz in 2008. Unlike other towns in the Costa del Sol, Marbella had a significant population before the population explosion caused by the tourist boom of the 1960s. The census counted about 10,000 people in 1950. Population growth since has been as spectacular as that of neighboring towns. Between 1950 and 2001 the population grew by 897%, with the decade of the 1960s having the highest relative increase, at 141%. In 2001, only 26.2% of Marbella's population had been born there, 15.9% were foreign-born, and those born in other towns in Spain made up the difference. During the summer months the population of Marbella increases by 30% with the arrival of tourists and foreigners who have their second homes in the area. The population is concentrated in two main centers, Marbella and San Pedro Alcantara. The rest is scattered in many developments in the districts of Nueva Andalusia and Las Chapis, located along the coast and on the mountain slopes. According to a study by the Association of Municipalities of the Costa del Sol, based on the production of solid waste in 2003, Marbella had a population of about 246,000 inhabitants, almost twice that of the population census of 2008. From the estimated volume of municipal waste in 2010, the city calculates the population during the summer months at around 400,000 people, while official police sources estimated it at about 500,000, with a peak of up to 700,000 people. Gentilic names traditionally the people of Marbella have been called Marbelleros in popular language and Marbellenses. In the liturgy, these names have appeared in dictionaries and encyclopedias. However, since the mid-50s, Marbellan residents have been called Marbellus or Marbellis, the only gentilic or demonum that appears in the Dictionario de la Lengua Española, published by the Royal Spanish Academy. The use of Marbelli as a gentilic was popularized by the writer and journalist Victor de la Serna, who wrote a series of documentary articles on the Navy of Andalusia. In his research he had come upon the Historia de Malaga y su provincia by Francisco Guillén Robles who used the plural word Marbellis to designate the Muslim inhabitants of Marbella. History, prehistory and antiquity archaeological excavations have been made in the mountains around Marbella which point to human habitation in Paleolithic and Neolithic times. Some historians believe that the first settlement on the present site of Marbella was founded by the Phoenicians in the 7th century BC, as they are known to have established several colonies on the coast of Malaga province. However, no remains have been found of any significant settlement, although some artifacts of Phoenician and later Carthaginian settlements have been unearthed in different parts of the municipality. 
as in the fields of Rio Real and Cerro Toron, the existence of a Roman population center in what is now the El Casco Antigua is suggested by three Ionic capitals embedded in one section of the Muralas del Castillo, the reused materials of a building from earlier times. Recent discoveries in La Calesculas and other remains scattered throughout the old town testify to a Roman occupation as well. West of the city on the grounds of the Hotel Puente Romano is a small 1st century Roman bridge over a stream. This bridge was part of the ancient Via Augusta that linked Rome to Cadiz. There are ruins of other Roman settlements along the Verde and Wadalmina rivers. Villa Romana on the Rio Verde, the Roman baths at Wadalmana, and the ruins of a Roman villa and an early Byzantine basilica at Vega del Mayor, built in the 3rd century and surrounded by a Paleo-Christian necropolis, later used as a burial ground by the Visigoths. All of these further demonstrate a continued human presence in the area. In Roman times, the city was called Salduba, Middle Ages during the period of Islamic rule, after the Normans lay waste to the coast of Malaga in the 10th century. The Caliphate of Cordoba fortified the coastline and built a string of several lighthouse towers along it. In the Umayyad fashion they constructed a citadel, the Alcazaba, and a wall to protect the town which was made up of narrow streets and small buildings with large patios, the most notable buildings being the citadel and the mosque. The village was surrounded by orchards. Its most famous crops were figs and mulberry trees for silkworm cultivation. The current name may have developed from the name the Arabs gave it, Marble La, which may in turn derive, according to some linguistic investigations, from a previous Iberian place name. The traveler Ibn Battuta characterized it as a pretty little town in a fertile district during the time of the first kingdoms of Taifa. Marble La was disputed by the Taifas of Algeciras and of Malaga, eventually falling into the orbit of Malaga, which in turn later became part of the Nazarid kingdom. In 1283 the Sultan Marinid Abu Yusuf launched a campaign against the Kingdom of Granada. Peace between the Marina dynasty and the Nasri dynasty was achieved with the signing of the Treaty of Marbella on 6 May 1286, by which all the Marinid possessions in Al-Andalus were restored to the Nazarid Sultan. Early modern age On the 11th of June 1485 the town passed into the hands of the Crown of Castile without bloodshed. The Catholic monarchs gave Marbella the title of city and capital of the region and made it a realengo. The Plaza de los Naranjos was built along the lines of Castilian urban design about this time, and some of the historical buildings that surround it, as well. The Fuerte de San Luis de Marbella was built in 1554 by Charles V. The main door faced north and was protected by a moat with a drawbridge. Today, the ruins of the Fort Hauser Museum, and on the grounds of the Iglesia del Santo Cristo de la Vera Cruz and Ermita del Calvario, sugarcane was introduced to Marbella in 1644, the cultivation of which spread on the Malaga province coast, resulting in the construction of numerous sugar mills, such as Trapiche del Prado de Marbella. 19th century In 1828 Malaga businessman Manuel Agustin Heredia founded a company called La Concepcion to mine the magnetite iron ores of the Sierra Blanca at nearby OJ Q10. Due to the availability of charcoal made from the trees of the mountain slopes and water from the Verde River, as a ready supply of both was needed for the manufacture of iron. In 1832 the company built the first charcoal-fired blast furnace for non-military use in Spain. These iron smelting operations ultimately produced up to 75% of the country's cast iron. In 1860 the Marques del Duero founded an agricultural colony, now the heart of San Pedro de Alcantara. The dismantling of the iron industry based in the forges of El Angel and La Concepcion occurred simultaneously, disrupting the local economy. As much of the population had to return to farming or fishing for a livelihood, this situation was compounded by the widespread crisis of traditional agriculture and by the epidemic of phylloxera blight in the vineyards. 
all of which accounted for Marbella's high unemployment, increase in poverty, and the starvation of many day laborers. The associated infrastructure built for the installation of the foundry of El Angel in 1871 by the British-owned Marbella Iron Ore Company temporarily relieved the situation, and even made the city a destination for immigrants, increasing its population. However, the company did not survive the worldwide economic crisis of 1893, and closed its doors in that year due to the difficulty of finding a market for the magnetite iron ore removed from its mine. In the late 19th century, Marbella was a village composed of three parts, the main districts, the Barrio Alto or San Francisco, and the Barrio Nuevo. There were three smaller nuclei arranged around the old ironworks and the farm model of the colony of San Pedro Alcantara, as well as isolated dwellings in orchards and farms. The general population was divided between a small group of oligarchs and the working people, the middle class being practically non-existent. 20th century and the early decades of the century the first hotels were built. The El Commercial, which opened in 1918, and the Miramar, which opened its doors in 1926. During the Second Republic, Marbella experienced major social changes and contentious political parties mobilized. As the Spanish Civil War began, Marbella and Cáceres suffered more anti-clerical violence than the rest of western Malaga province. The day after the failed uprising that led to the Civil War, several religious buildings were set fire to in Marbella. Only the walls of the Church of St. Mary of the Incarnation and the Church of San Pedro Alcantara were left standing. With the aid of fascist Italian troops, nationalist forces seized Marbella during the first months of the war. It became a haven for prominent Nazis, including Elia Cuto N. de Grel and Wolfgang Juggler, and phalangist personalities like Jose Antonio de Ronda Velasco and Jose Banis. After World War II, Marbella was a small jasmine-lined village with only 900 inhabitants. Ricardo Soriano, Marquis of Ivanry, moved to Marbella and popularized it among his rich and famous friends. In 1943 he acquired a country estate located between Marbella and San Pedro called El Rodeo, and later built a resort there called Venta y Albergs El Rodeo, beginning the development of tourism in Marbella. Soriano's nephew, Prince Alfonso of Hohenlohe-Langenberg, descendant of a high-ranking aristocratic family acquired another estate, Finca Santa Margarita. In 1954 he opened it as the Marbella Club, an international resort aimed at movie stars, business executives and the nobility. Both these resorts would be frequented by members of European aristocratic families with famous names. Bismarck, Rothschild, Fernand Taxis, Metternich, de Amora y Aragon, de Salamanca or Thyssen Borny Musa, thereby transforming Marbella into a destination for the international jet set, trading on Prince Alfonso's kinship to the royal courts of Europe. The hotel quickly proved to be popular with vacationing members of Europe's social elites for its casual but discreet luxury. Jamie de Mora y Aragon, a Spanish bon vivant and brother to Fabiola, Queen of the Belgians, as well as Adnan Khashoggi and Gwenta Rotman, were frequent visitors. Prince Alfonso's first marriage was to Princess Ira von Fersenberg, an Agnelli heiress. Princess Marie Louise of Prussia and her husband Count Rudolf Rudy von Schonberg Glaucor eventually took over the Marbella Club Hotel from Prince Alfonso. In 1966, Prince Alfonso brought in a Beverly Hills architect and, with the assistance of the Banners family, who were personal friends of dictator Francisco Franco and had already developed the later controversial Vale de los Caídos developed the high-end tourist resort Puerto Banis. The resort opened to much fanfare in 1970. Celebrities in attendance included Franco's designated successor, Juan Carlos, Prince Rainier of Monaco and his wife Grace Kelly, and Aga Khan IV. Entertainers included Julio Iglesias, 
In 1973, exiled dictator Fulgencio Batista y Zaldivar, who held left Cuba with a fortune estimated at between $100 and $300 million and lived extravagantly in various Iberian resorts, died of a heart attack there. Fugitive financier Mark Rich bought a house in Marbella, renounced American and claimed Spanish citizenship during his decades of evading American income taxes, although he spent more time in Switzerland. In 1974, Prince Fahd arrived in Marbella from Monte Carlo, until his death in 2005. Prince Fahd was a frequent and profligate guest. Marbella welcomed his retinue of over a thousand people spending petrodollars. The then anonymous Osama bin Laden visited on a number of occasions with his family between 1977 and 1988. In the 1980s, Marbella continued as a popular jet set destination. However, the 1987 kidnapping of Melody Nakachian, the daughter of local billionaire philanthropist Raymond Nakachian and the Korean singer Kim Ira, focused less favorable international media scrutiny on Marbella, even though a police raid ultimately freed her. From the first democratic elections after the adoption of the 1978 Spanish Constitution until 1991, all the mayors of Marbella were members of the Spanish Socialist Workers' Party. In 1991, the builder and president of Atletico Madrid, Jesus Gil Y. Gil was elected mayor of Marbella by a wide majority. He and his party, the neoconservative independent liberal group, promised to fight petty crime as well as the region's declining prestige. Actor Sean Connery became Marbella's international spokesman. Although Connery later ended this business relationship after Gill used his image in an election campaign, Gill's administration facilitated a building boom. However, critics complained about disregard for the existing urban plan, market speculation and environmental predation by developers. The regional Andalusian government suspended some development. Gill despised town hall formalities, instead ruling from his office at the club Financiero, and cultivated a maverick image. The PSOE and the People's Party criticized Gill even at the national level, but voters re-elected him, and Spanish celebrities continued to spend summers there. Gill's political party, Gill, also proved popular in other tourist-dependent Costa del Sol towns like Estepona, and even across the Strait of Gibraltar to the Spanish North African cities of Ceuta and Melilla. In 1999, Gill was convicted of embezzling public funds and falsifying public documents. Gill died in 2004, and his party remained in power until 2006 but related scandals continue to this day, as discussed below.